our program's most important accomplishment has been to build trusting, sustainable relationships with community partners to improve the science of translational research. I was really encouraged by the great dialogue and the efforts to build better trust between community-based groups, especially grassroots groups like the Food Guardians in the Bayview Hunters Point area, and researchers like some of the top researchers like Bob Lustig from UCSF and others um, that are doing cutting-edge research um, on a worldwide level. But bringing grassroots together with the top researchers is incredible. There's a lot of power there. How to go out and engage the community and truly do effective community consultation and public disclosure was actually something that um, uh, was a big question nationally at all of the Rampart sites. And <clears throat> I think we had a leg up on them, partly because of our FTSE experience and partly because of our community consultation or, or our CPSI community engagement program. There was a um, physical activity and nutrition summit of major stakeholders throughout the uh, San Francisco uh, to try to uh, see area. where there was common ground to be able to make changes in San Francisco for the betterment of its residents. Uh, that probably couldn't have happened without the uh, ground laying that CTSI did in uh, reaching out to the community. Often the university came into the community uh, looking for research subjects or looking for a place to test a theory or a study of sorts, but that that wasn't always being uh, a mutually beneficial relationship so that what was happening is that you had service learners or researchers come, researchers come into the nonprofits, do their work, and then leave. And none of that work was coming back to the community in a way that it could be applied for the benefit of the health of their clients. There's a perception that there's a lot of resources that you see that people would like to be able to tap into. Um, and I don't, in, in, in a positive way, um, in a collaborative way, and I think it's difficult and challenging for community members. Yeah, I think of UCSF, I think of a hospital that I attended when I was 18 for a medical procedure. I didn't think of it as a user-friendly campus. Um, it wasn't in any community that I really knew about. The key to success and moving efforts at the community level is trust. And to build trust, you need to work side by side with people over time. And after we um, jostle back and forth, we gain trust both ways. They gain trust in the people, the tremendous people that are, that are represented on the Community Advisory Board, uh, as well as um, us gaining trust for the uh, university. It takes time to build trust um, because of the perception that whether it's historic or based on actual experience, it doesn't even matter. There's a perception that some researchers are going to come in and want us to help recruit patients, and then they do study, they find something, and then they use that to you know, pursue the additional funding that never comes back to the community. The recruitment was scheduled to last for 36 months, mm -hmm. and it was completed in 19 months. So it was very um, accelerated in the sense that the study was very successful to, uh, uh, to be completed. And out of that came a, um, the faith initiative is what I call it. Um, and it's working with um, the church community in Fort County. Yes. And the church is being highly involved in that. Um, the um, the uh, community engagement program pull, helped pull us together mm -hmm. to um, begin talking about that in the various Churches. So, Dr. Christine Matson also, her and I wrote to the pediatric doctor for UCSF. We didn't get it. Wrote a grant, but she gained so much more knowledge about what the work we, the capacity mm -hmm. of the YMCA and Baby Hunters Point, um, the vision that a lot of my staff and, and that we have mm -hmm. about a prevention and health disparities. Mm -hmm. And so she's, I know in her workings now, in her research and whatever she's doing, she's thinking about. How can I support the baby? Why? How can we begin to engage families around childhood obesity? Where we're bringing multiple healthcare systems within a city together to work on a single issue that clearly impacts a population differentially.